Hey Craig here. In this video I'm going to be making the first part on the mill. Uh, it's just going to be a block of wood, uh, basically following the instructions in the manual uh, for the first part. So, right? uh, so what I'm doing right now is I'm basically following directly out of the book uh, to make the first part. There's actually a really good video by uh, Daniel uh, with uh, Tormach. Uh, recently on the website you can just go to uh, Tormox, uh, not their website, but their YouTube channel, and uh, check out their video. I'm kind of doing my version of it, and so I have like a complete series of everything that I am doing for the mill. Um, but uh, this, in fact, uh, normally I would use a height gauge and do tool offsets for that, and just put them into the uh, uh, the uh, the tool list. Um, but this is going to be doing a doing it in a slightly different manner. I'm actually going to be touching off the the nose of the spindle onto the workpiece. Um, so, all right. So the first step is I'm going to on the path pilot. I'm going to go into the where it has the T there. So this is a tool. Actually, it already says zero. Um, so it says to uh, enter zero and then hit the M6 G54 okay next I'm gonna place a piece of 2x4 uh, I've got the jaw, jaws opened up I've got a, a half inch parallel down there I'm gonna set a 2x4 in there and uh, go ahead and tighten it down in the vise Alright, then I'm going to stick a piece of paper on top of that, and I'm going to jog the head over. And I'm going to jog the head down. So the spindle touches. Move my paper here until it stops moving. Okay. There we go. And I'm going to go back to Path Pilot, and I'm going to zero out my Z. Uh, prior to all this, I forgot to say, prior to all this, I um, referenced my axes. I started up the mill and referenced the axes uh, as in the previous video. I'm going to go ahead and zero my Z. It says you can actually enter zero into the uh, Z DRO right here. Instead of just clicking zero, you can actually write in zero. Or if you want to be precise, you can actually enter uh, three thou for the thickness of the paper. Um, but I don't think we need to do this. We're just engraving in a piece of wood. We're not, don't really need to be that accurate. So. Okay, now to enter the uh, tool offset for the first tool, uh, which is the uh, 3 8 end mill, I'm going to insert the tool. And I'm going to follow the same procedure. Uh, actually, first, 
I'm going to enter tool number one. Right here, enter tool number one and click M6G43. And then I'm going to touch off with the end mill tool number one, like I did the, uh, the spindle. Okay, next I'm going to go to the offsets tab and since there's a piece of paper in between I could actually enter the thickness of the piece of paper or if you have some other feeler gauge or something else of a known thickness that you're touching against you can enter that um, I'm not going to worry about that I'm just going to click uh, touch zero and as you can see, over here, the uh, length of that tool has now been entered. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to enter a name for this tool. Call it a 3 8 end mill. And of course, I'll enter the diameter of uh, 0.375 tab. Oops. All right. Okay, so the first uh, tool is now entered uh, in the tool table. All right. It said you can verify the length of the offset by uh, measuring from the top of the TTS holder to the tip there, which I'm just going to do. You can kind of eyeball it. You can see it's about three and a half inches on my tape measure, and that's about what it is on the computer, 3.5256. So, all right. Okay, the next step is to take out the 3 8 uh, end mill that's in there now and uh, put in an eighth inch. I don't have eighth inch, I've got 3 16 so I guess that will have to do. So. I'll raise that. I think one of the things I need to do pretty soon is get a power draw bar for this thing. One of the projects coming up so whoops that's not the way to do it luckily it was just wood right. okay I'll now go ahead and enter tool number two uh, like before, uh, 2 and then M6 G50, G43. So now notice I have tool number 2 in there. And I will go ahead and do the touch off on this one. Stop there. Uh, 
Okay. And I'm already on line two for tool two. So I'll just leave this as zero and I will uh, touch Z. And it is calculated at uh, 2.9279. And uh, I will just enter this as, I think they called it engraver. I'll just put it as engraver. Engraver. I'll go back and change these later to my actual tool numbers. And my diameter is... Alright, so that's it on uh, setting the tool offsets. And uh, so the next thing is to uh, to create the, uh, the G-code uh, using the conversational in Pathpilot. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, any comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And if you haven't subscribed, I'd appreciate you subscribing. Alright.